Oh, it's the constant angler. I'm, I'm up fishing again today. Somewhere, um, I've not fished for donkeys years. It's, it's the same river system, but just a different spot. All right, for those of you who haven't seen my channel before, uh, me mullet fishing, um, I've just put some uh, cheap bread in there. Cheapest loaf I could find. This is what I use when I, I uh, grown bait from co-op. 70p, 50p a loaf, whatever it is. Doesn't matter, and you want to make like a porridge of it. So I just added some water to it. And now all I'm going to do is just mix it with my hand. You can do it with a spoon if you want. I've got a spoon here, but I prefer it if I can do this because what I'm looking to do is make really small particles so that I don't overfeed the fish. There's a lot of this will drift away in the current. Some will stay in the bottom and I'm going to add a little carrier scent in there. And if you're new to my channel, then you won't see me do this, but smoke salmon oil by dynamite. And I put a nice amount of that in. There we go. And then this is where I use the ladle now because I don't want my hands stinking of this stuff. And I'm going to, uh, well, it's a little spoon. I'm going to put that in with this spoon. Helps getting it in there and uh, keeps your hands less smelly. I don't mind a little bit, but I don't want them stinking of fish oil. Not fished here for donkey's ears. Tide's going left to right, so what I'm doing is throwing it just upstream, and I'm gonna fish through there like that, on a trot. You can see it going down, that'll give you an idea of the depth, but I'm gonna plumb up anyway. Uh, tide's coming in quick, and I want my bait to be an inch off the bottom, or touch his tripping bottom. Uh, that seems to be what's worked for me over the years. So rod and reel for the day. If I turn it around this way, uh, I've got the Drennan Alkalite Plus 13 foot. I like the extra bit of power and it's beautifully fast action, but forgiving rod. And I've got the Shimano Stradic uh, 2500 uh, rear drag, of which I've got four and a half pound line. So we're just going to constantly check the depth, keep it on or near the bottom, tripping along the bottom or just above it, and fish bread flake and hope to pick up some mullet. Hooking the bait on, I'm just going to hook it through the bread like that till I feel the the point and fold it over and pinch it up around the hook eye. Nothing more complicated than that. So I've incorporated a little swivel into the rig because mullet, I mean I don't remember doing it when I was younger and never had any problems but uh, I don't remember, it's a long time ago, mullet um, spinning and twisting as much as they seem to these days. I'm sure they must have done, I just don't know. And funny enough, I've noticed other mullet anglers do the same, very experienced mullet anglers that do the same, so can't be doing any harm. Used to fish here as a kid, caught a little crackhead five pound mullet here. Well, four, nearly five, that's a lie. It wasn't five, it was nearly five, still too deep. That's all I would be, but as the tide comes in, the depth will change. I just want to fish that sort of distance out. I can't see it there. Yeah, a little too shallow, I think. Uh, not too bad. Let's try it that sort of depth. See what happens. Set the other camera up. I was a I used to fish here when I was a kid, which is a damn long uh, time ago, 40 or 50 years ago. <clears throat> and I caught some cracking mullet here. And there's a, a stream that comes in here. You can see a little bit of a cut out there. But it's just a change of depth, etc. Somewhere just around here where fish would just sit behind the rock as it falls off on the sand and hopefully give us bites let's put the polaroids on and we had one bite in about two hours where we were before so we've got nothing to lose Flow's a lot slower here as well, so the fish haven't got to expend the energy that they had further down to be where I was. It's probably a better spot at high tide than that. 
Well, at least moving about. Just looking for that first that bump. Slacker still in water is sometimes better. Main flow is over there. A little back eddy here. No, nothing so far. I haven't been here long though. Nah, I tried further down out a bite. There's some around. I've seen a few. Yeah, I've seen a few of you. Yeah, so it is open. <laughs> Should get something sooner or later. It'd be nice if we do work one. Oh, it'll zoom off on it. It's going to be a bugger, isn't it? Oh, I've got a nice long net. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, man. Thank you. Do you do it yourself? Mullet in, yeah. Mullet the whole time long, yeah. Do you? Here, up the river. Yeah, I grew up down here. It's, been a bit of a nightmare it's rubbish, isn't it? All the rainwater's just ruined it, isn't it? The rain's ruined it. I don't know where the fish are gone. I had a couple ledger in about a month back, but. Surface? Yeah. You know, like you would with carp? Sort of yeah, 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 yeah. And um, on crust, and well, I've had a few out this year that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, anyway. oh, cheers. Yeah, have a good day, bro. Thank you, mate. It's not shoals of fish this year, they seem to be swimming around in twos and threes. And a lot of those I think are uh, thin lips. There's some big mullet that were there just a second ago, so if I can get their heads down, we're laughing. So they're fast swimming fish is just getting them to stop. Come on, fish. Oh, yeah, got one. Just caught one. There you go. Took long enough. He's yeah, massive, but he's a oh, big one, actually. Oh, I don't want to lose him. He's a big fish. All right, this is a good mullet here. Good fish, good three pound or more. Just gotta get him in, you lose so many of them these days. Oh. It's the second bite I've had. I went down there and had one bite, didn't hook it, nothing else. I thought I'd come up here where I used to fish when I was a kid, and uh, he maybe not as big as I thought, but he's good at last. I'm not rushing it because I don't want to lose it. I haven't caught one in a while. The weather's been so bad, hasn't it? <sighs> nah, I can do it. Just getting the thing to come out in the first place. He's almost beat. The minute he sees the net, though, he won't be. Oh, he's off. Whee! <sighs> Just my luck at the minute, isn't it? Car didn't bully it or anything. The last one I lost, I bullied. That's why I lost it. That one. <laughs> I'll get one in a second. I've got a little spot going now. Right, change float, change to a ducker, check my depth, put some more ground bait in, 
there was a wind and it was spoiling my presentation so that little bit of sunken line I can always put a dust shot above the float I should get more <laughs> more control <laughs> come on fish come on give me another bite Perseverance, I think it's the title of this video. Oh, yeah, go on. Not bad. Stay on. Oh, he's shooting around. Don't do that. Oh, he's funny. Oh, we don't want to do that. Come on. Don't you want to do that? Massive, but he's alright. I don't think he's gonna come in yet. Run them a net now. Just want to be up tight against the wall. They're fighting down there. Hello. He looks ready to come and then he sees the net and he isn't. One. No, not really yet. Come on, he's twisted all over the shop. Get him, yes! Oh, that's a beauty. What flavour's that one then? That's a mullet. Oh, it's mullet of a yeah. good four pound, I reckon. Oh, no, no. Whoa, yes! No. I'll just catch them for sport. <sighs> I lost a bigger one than that earlier. Yeah. Oh, at last. You've missed two. Caught one and still get them in. Oh, right. Don't get the last minute. Uh, let's get the hook out. That wasn't coming out. <sighs> it's a mullet. I'm not going to weigh it. It's probably a three and three quarter pound, something like that, I reckon. It's a very fat fish. Um, you can see it's a nice fish, beautiful condition. So there you go, a fish of about three and three quarter pound, three and a half pound, something like that. Lovely fish. I'm so glad to catch it. I've worked very hard to catch that fish. So let's put it back. Probably a bit bigger than I said, but we'll let him recover now. Yeah. Oh, it's probably my little bass, yeah. He looks... They could be, or they could be little bass. Could be, could be either. Not ready to go yet. Thank you. See them down there breathing away. She'll go when she's ready. Getting ready to go now. Just gonna give them a chance to recover because they fight so hard.
Don't want to go. Here we go. Starting to wiggle a bit more now. Oh, away she goes. Well, you'll see much of that or not. But. So let's wrap that up then. So I hope you enjoyed it. Start off with, please like and subscribe and all that business. Um, so we started off where we were soaking because we couldn't get a bite. I moved from the spot I was at because there was too much current and there wasn't a holding feature for the fish. So I moved up to a spot that uh, I haven't fished since I was a child, uh, but I knew there was a hump and they could sit the other side of that. So avoid the current and dip in and out of it, pick up food when they wanted. Uh, hooked and lost a good fish. I asked them out around four pounds and then sulked for a bit, but eventually changed my setup to a waggler because the wind was, everything was going against me, wasn't it at one point? And, uh, but in that fishing sometimes, changed my setup, plumbed the depth, put some more ground bait in and uh, hooked a nice fish, which uh, fought like anything. And uh, I couldn't lock the net out. I was here, there and everywhere, but somehow the fishing got smiled on me and I got it in the net. So I'm happy with that. So if you enjoyed the video, give us some comments and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you, the Colston Angler.